The ICS stands for Individual Comfort System. Basically what that is, in this case it's a nitrogen encapsulated disc where you can go from firm, cushion, or inward, outward. If you set it at firm, then you're going to get energy return. Um, if you set it at cushion, you're going to get shock absorption. Um, the inward setting would be if you need stability on the inside depending on your gait. And the outside setting would be to put uh, stability on the outside. So the inward and outward is basically motion control for depending on how you walk and your gait. And the firmer cushion would be depending on whether or not you're on your feet all day or you're actually walking all day. Well, the way it works is that all of it is 9 PSI with a, a pressure center like a pump. And when your heel strike hits it, it forces the nitrogen into a separate chamber. So you're going from 9 PSI to 12 PSI where you need it. So if you need it on the cushion setting, then it will deliver the support there, or the firm, or the inward or the outward. But basically, it's going to move into the chambers to deliver the technology and the comfort that you're trying to dial to. The last was developed, we have a couple of shoes in the base line that start to work with that 10 millimeter toe to heel offset. The biggest challenge we faced was how to deliver a technology under the foot in a very small space without getting too bulky, too big. We accomplished all of that, delivering the performance the way the technology was designed and, and again, fitting within the refinement of the new last and the, and the shoe construction. Everything is moving towards customization. So rather than buying a, a collection of inserts or insoles or orthotics, um, depending again on your activity, you would be able to dial in a certain amount of comfort or performance based on what your activity is, and it's all in one insole.